What is a drill brush and how do you use it? That's a great question and we'll talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now the other day on the show, and we do this every Monday, we do product reviews. Product reviews on products and chemicals and cleaning supplies and software and things that you need to grow your house cleaning business. The other day we did one on Meguiar's Gold Class Leather Conditioner. And what was interesting about that product review is you did not ask about the leather conditioner. You asked instead about the drill brush that I used to apply it. <laughs> I got 273 questions about the drill brush. When I realized we haven't talked about the drill brush, so let's talk about it today. The drill brush is a solution to replace the manual labor that you use when you clean. I say manual labor. As a house cleaner, you're going to have a lot of wear and tear on your shoulders. This is from vacuuming, it's from wiping things down, it's from cleaning mirrors. Every movement that you do with your arms is going to take a hit on your shoulder eventually. So if you're inside a bathtub and you're doing a lot of scrubbing and there's a lot of elbow grease, that comes from your shoulder, okay? So anytime that we can take the wear and tear off of our body parts and we can add it to something that's electronic, this does the heavy lifting for us. So the other day we applied a whole bunch of leather conditioner on leather furniture with the leather brush. Now this is part of a kit. There are four different brushes that are sold as part of this kit. This kit is a drill brush kit. It is designed for an electric drill. It retails for $31.95 and I've seen it as inexpensive as like $28.5. I'm going to put links in the show notes to all the products that we're talking about today so that you can become familiar with them. But the reason that I like this kit is because it comes with four different brushes. The red one is designed for brick. So if you're outside and you open your window and there's like moss and gunk and mold that's growing on the outside of your brick, this is the brush that you use to get that off, okay? So it's designed for the outsides of your house as well as like your garage door and stuff where there can get mold and mildew. There are a couple of other brushes. There's a yellow brush, which is for the bathrooms only, only ever the bathrooms. Then there's a green brush that is designed for the kitchen, only ever the kitchen. So if you're cleaning the top of a really icky stove, you use the green brush. If you're cleaning the fronts of the icky, sticky, greasy cabinets that are wood, you use the green brush. So yellow for the bathroom, this would be the bathroom grout, inside the shower, at the bottom of the bathtub, around the toilet on the floor, the grout on the bathroom floor, all that stuff. Yellow for the bathroom, green for the kitchen. White is glass and leather. So if you're inside a shower and there's really icky, sticky stuff, on the bathroom glass, you can use this drill brush and just ooze it off, right? So it removes all the elbow grease. All right, so a couple of quick things about this. There are a whole bunch of people that wanna create their own because 30 bucks is a lot of money. 30 bucks is not a lot of money, it's a great investment in your business for this reason. Because the bristles are different, this one is for leather and glass, this one is heavy duty and it's for grout, where are you going to go to find different strengths and then cut them up and people paint them and they do all kinds of weird things. They put a bolt on one side and they try to attach a drill bit on the other side. And then after they use it for a while, the bolts start to come loose and it's really not worth making your own. It really is not. For 30 bucks, bite the bullet, invest in a set of these. These are made of heavy duty resin and they're not going to come apart. This is what they're designed for. They are designed for cleaning. All right. Having said that, there is one solution that I do recommend, and this is only because I could not find a solution anywhere else. I cut the top off a wide mouth prune juice container so I could use it as a splatter guard for if you're in a bathroom doing grout, for example, and you're using bleach. Now, we don't want to splatter bleach all over the front of us, and I've used these long enough that I can now do it without the splatter guard. But if you're just getting started and you're not familiar, you can make these really easily. It just pops inside and it's not quite long enough. So I did get a drill bit extender, which is just a small piece. It fits on the end of the drill bit. And it still fits in the drill bit here. You just tighten it up. And I hold with my hand, one hand, the unit itself. I hold the other hand here and I hold the head of it to support the splatter guard. And then you can move it back and forth depending on if you need more bristle or if you need more control of the splatter guard. So this allows you then to do all the grout without getting anything splashing back on you. So that is my splatter guard. All right, real quick, let's talk about the drill itself. The drill, you can buy any drill. There are cheap drills, there are rinky-dink drills, there are super duper power drills. 
This is just a Black & Decker drill. This one fits in my hand really nicely. And the key is it must fit in your hand really nicely because if it's not comfortable, you're not gonna use it. So you don't want one that's too big for you. You don't want one that's too small. And you want one that has enough power that it's gonna reduce the fatigue from your shoulders. Now they sell the drills that have cords and then cordless ones. The corded one I prefer for this reason. The rechargeable batteries are super heavy. And so let's say that you're doing a shower and you have your drill above your head. That can get really heavy really quickly and it's an extra fatigue on your arms. And we're trying to reduce the fatigue on our arms, which is why I have the lighter weight model with the cord. Okay, a couple of notes about the cord. This cord is a two prong cord. And you just wanna make sure that when you're getting an extension cord, cause I do carry an extension cord with me in my car, you wanna make sure that it is a two prong as well. There's nothing worse than getting to a customer's house and having an extension cord that does not fit your drill. So you gotta make sure that they match while you're inside the hardware store <laughs> and you're buying those two pieces together. So you gotta buy a drill that fits and they range anywhere from 20 to about $150. So invest in one that's gonna work for you. Now, another reason that I prefer the corded one over the, the rechargeable one is this is not an everyday kit. This is not part of everyday maintenance cleaning. All of this is used for an upsell. And so if you don't have any upsells for three or four weeks, and this is sitting in your car, the battery could drain out. Then you upsell at the last minute when you have a cancellation. You go inside the customer's house, you're prepared to use your rechargeable battery on your drill brush, and then it doesn't work. So with the cord, it's 100% guaranteed. It's not gonna give out on you. It's always gonna work. You always have your extension cord with you in your car. Now this kit, I do keep with me in my car at all times. The reason being is just this kit by itself with a couple of small pieces is an entire upsell kit. So let's say I'm at a customer's house and I have a cancellation. And I say, oh, listen, I know five customers in my neighborhood that need the leather conditioner and with a quick text, you can text all five of those people and say, hey, listen, I just had a cancellation. I'm in the neighborhood right now. Is anyone up for a leather conditioning session? And you can upsell that very quickly. And you might even upsell two of them in the same neighborhood during the same slot where you would have cleaned that one customer's house. If no, you have no takers for that, you change your cleaning supply, you change the head of the unit, and now you go in and you do the icky, sticky, greasy cabinet upsell to whoever is available right then that's willing to pay you, right? So you have quick upsells very quickly, and it's nothing more than a couple of cleaning supplies and your drill brush kit. Now we cleaned a cabinet the other day. We did 79 cabinets and four bathrooms, and that's how much we used of the Murphy oil soap. So a little bit of this conditioner goes a long way when you're spreading it with the drill brush. So it's not a lot of cleaning supplies, but because of the skill that you're bringing, it's the value you're bringing to the hour is what allows you to upcharge. All right, now a couple of quick notes about the drill brush. When you're using the drill brush, always, we have a couple of work smart, not hard tools. And the very first one that we use are eye protection. And this is because anything could splatter and we don't want anything that's chemical in our eyes, not cool. So we always wear our safety glasses, always. And then also the work smart, not hard tools for the drill brush. I do have a pair of plastic coated gloves and I prefer these for this job because it gives me extra grip. So my hands are not gonna slip while I have these gloves on, right? These go beyond my regular disposable gloves. Now, the thing that I like about this is if my hands get wet, still no slip. And then if I'm in the bathroom and for some reason, like I'm doing a, a grout job, and I bang my knuckles on the grout, I've got a little bit of extra protective stuff on my hands that goes beyond my disposable gloves. So this is a pair of gloves that I prefer for my upsell kit. All right, so this, just real briefly, is my drill brush kit. Now, they sell a bunch of different drill brush bits. And for all the years I've been doing this, these four, I've narrowed it down to can pretty much do everything. So this is the one set that you need. It's a great investment. And then if you ever do any home or handy projects, you just change the drill bit and now you've got a drill that you can use for handy projects for other additional upsells. So it's an excellent product to have as part of your cleaning kit. And like I say, I just keep it in 
a little bag in the back of my car. It's always available in the event that I ever need it or I ever need it for some special project. Boom, there it is. All right, so that's my two cents for today. Do you have a drill? Do you use a drill for your cleaning projects? I wanna hear. And do you have a drill brush set? Anyway, I wanna start a conversation in the notes below. I wanna hear how it's worked for you. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. 